Hello, this is Bruno Pelletier Backer. So if you're a little intimidated with playing with uh, pick and fingers, I'm going to show you a few exercises that hopefully will get you started. So what we're talking about is what sometimes is referred to as hybrid picking, but just think of it as pick and fingers. So that means you hold the pick with the, your normal finger and you would pluck the the notes of your of your chord because usually we're talking about chords with the remaining fingers could be just two fingers depending on how many notes you're trying to pluck so just three notes or four notes in which case you would have to use the pinky so it's uh it's a different sound than playing uh like this way with uh, strumming Okay. Um, you can also play just with your fingers. But then it's not picking fingers anymore. So the advantage of playing with the pick sometimes is that uh, you can use bass line. something like that. So in which case, what I do is walk the bass line with the pick and pluck a few chords here and there with the remaining fingers. So depending on, uh, again, depending on the type of chord, I'm using two, two extra fingers or three extra fingers. So let's talk about developing all of those fingers, all um, all the remaining fingers, meaning including the pinky, because that's usually the, the problematic one. So uh, the first, first exercise I'll show you is this, and I'll get a little closer so that you could see exactly what's going on here. So what I'm using here is a technique that in classical guitar people call planting. Planting in classical guitar means you literally plant all your fingers, so including the thumb in, in that case, and then you release one finger at a time. But the idea is to keep um, all the fingers in touch with, um, with the remaining strings, right? As opposed to, let me put this pick down. So normally you would play like this, right? One finger at a time. But the planting concept means that you plant all four fingers and then you play one note, but see my remaining fingers are still in contact with the, the strings. Then one more finger, one more finger, one more finger. The idea is that it's teaching your hand, your hand to not pluck away from the strings like that, which you know it, it will give you a snappy sound and it's not desirable. So when you do this, see my hand is not moving; it's not going away from the from the strings. So if I do the same thing with the pick. I'm planting all four fingers and then I play first the, the note with the finger pick, I mean with the, the pick, the flat pick, they call it. Um, one finger, one finger, one remaining finger. And it doesn't have to be fast, it's just about understanding what happens when you, when you pluck uh, the string. And then do the same thing with uh, another string set. So here I'm using the middle four strings and then we could do the same with the bottom four strings. Now um, it's helpful to to pick a little harder with the pinky because we need to develop that finger. It's a very weak finger. I mean it's the smallest finger and we really hardly ever use it, right? So you want to be Actually, you want to be cautious. You don't want to pull too hard and and uh, and sprain that that pinky. But you know, definitely isolate it and develop it. So you don't need to really play anything. You just see, I'm dampening my strings. 
okay? So if I were playing um, a, a chord, see, I want to make sure that the, the high note is as loud as the other ones, because there's usually a tendency to play this note very loud because it played with the pick, right? And then the other notes are gonna be weak and then the last one we barely hear it, right? So you wanna make sure you actually hold back with the note that's played with the pick because it's gonna be louder unless you play with fingernails, but I don't, I don't use fingernails, right? So I use just the flesh. If you, if you play with fingernails, that's not as much of a problem, but if you need to compensate for the sound and volume of the notes that you play with the pick versus the notes that you play with your fleshy fingers, you need to hold back and then bring up the volume with, with those other fingers, okay? So that's uh, one thing. And then this, this planting, you can use that when you play chords. Like say here, I'm just gonna go back between uh, an F9 chord. Let me sit down. Okay, so I'm playing uh, an F9 chord versus a B flat 13 chord, right? So you can play it in time or out of time, but just like get used to really hearing the sound and bring up the, the volume. And again, by doing it like this, one finger at a time, you, you have better control of the volume of each finger. Think of it as a, as a mixing board. You know, each finger has its own track, right? So you're gonna bring down maybe the, the note that you play with the, the pick and then bring up the other ones and then push a little extra for the note that is on top of your chords because usually that's the note that you need to bring up a little bit more in the mix, right? Okay, so um, that's a good way to warm up, you know, doing this little uh, little thing. Then the next exercise will be um, something that's like a tremolo, like this, one, two, three, four. So that's all on the same string. Again, I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see better what's going on. Okay, so pick, and let's, I'll just number the fingers. So when I say number one, I'm talking about the, the finger that is holding the pick. This is finger two, finger three, finger four. So it'll be one, two, three, four, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Of course I miss because I'm, I'm looking at the camera at the same time. Okay, so one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, so just, um, just do that. And then you can do that same thing on, on each string. So like this, very slowly at first, because you need to make sure you control um, the, the the speed, well, the, the evenness, I'm, I'm, I should say. So you could do that on every one of your strings, but first you may want to focus on the top three strings, let's say it's top two even, top two or three strings. Again, it's not fast, but it's all balanced. Make sure there's no extra tension in, uh, in your hand. So you can think of this as a forward um, tremolo, meaning uh, we, we go up the fingers, finger number one, number two, number three, number four. Then you can do the reverse. So you still will hit the pick first, and then you'll go four, three, two, one. Okay, so pick four, three, two, one. Like this. Again, so this, hand is very relaxed. You try not to accumulate tension in there. It's a little harder when you move uh, with the inside strings because you don't have as much room. You know, there's like your, there's not that much space between your strings. So when you go in particularly from the note that you pluck with the pick and the note that you pluck with, with your pinky, uh, you need to, um, Make sure you, you have enough room to uh, to navigate. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So you can get yourself a little tempo. Again, you can maybe play it a little faster and faster, but again, speed is not so much the, the issue. 
what's really important is control of the finger. Um, um, one thing also that's important to realize, your pinky, no matter how much you're gonna work it, it's never going to be as strong as your other fingers, right? So you need to accept that, but really think of, um, of uh, the independence of your fingers and you know just the control, but it's not about strength, really. So um, don't worry. Those exercises, by the way, do them maybe the first couple times just for a minute, not more than that, just a minute, and then gradually go up a couple minutes. But even, even when I get carried away, I never really do this for very long. So, you know, and, and your hand will tell you, your fingers will either get very tired or, you know, if it's stuck. If it starts to hurt, of course, you stop right away. Okay, so the last exercise I'll show you will be uh, combinations of three fingers. So, um, uh, again, I'll call out the fingers, one, two, three, four, and the first pattern is going to be one, two, three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like this. And I'll just do this on the first string, right? But again, this is something that you want to do on, um, on every string. So. First pattern is one, two, three. Then the second pattern is going to be one, two, four. One, two, four. And, and then again, you, you keep going through. So one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. All right. Make sure the volume is as even as possible. So one, two, three, one, two, four. Now let's do uh, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, like this, one, three, two, so again, light with the pick, and then a little harder with the other fingers, light, harder, harder, light, harder, harder, light, harder, harder, light, harder, harder, okay, and so one, three, four is our next pattern, right, so one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, so it's, it's always a little harder when you engage that pinky. You know, the other fingers, they're, they're a lot more independent and they're already stronger. So, uh, one, three, four. So to recap, we had one, two, three, one, two, four, then one, three, two, and then one, three, four. One, three, four, one, three, four. And just stay with each one until you feel it's time to move on to the next one. Okay, and then finally, one four two 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 one four two. So you find your little uh, tempo. And then the very last pattern is going to be one four three one four three one four three one four three. Slow it down. Make sure you 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 have full control of your of your volume strength and then you're good to go all right so um that's the tip of the iceberg but that oh, hopefully that will really get you um to start developing the the um, those fingers okay so let me know how you're doing with that and then um i'll see you some other time